Khat Mohd, Director of Rugby at Quinn's Bobby Rugby in Pretoria. Khat, thank you for joining us. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you for the privilege for being here, for having a chat. Well, thank you for joining us and thank you for allowing us to pick your brain on exactly what has happened between Harlequins and Pretoria Police in Pretoria. Club rugby in Pretoria has always been strong. The Colton Cup has been going on for many years now, decades in fact. And uh, Harlequins and Pretoria Police have been two very big clubs in Pretoria and now they've come together. Why? Why did they come together? Right, as you had stated, this, that club rugby Victoria is, is excellent. It is the toughest competition actually in South Africa. Uh, you've got the Colton champions, you've got the Varsity Cup champions, you've got the Gold Cup champions. And just to stay competitive, uh, we knew that we need to make another plan just to compete against semi-professional teams like Rustenburg Impala and the University of Pretoria. So we put our resources together and uh, try to be competitive on a higher level and eventually to, to win trophies. And that's what uh, everything is all about. With, with Harlequins Rugby, Pretoria and Pretoria Police being two very big and established rugby clubs in Pretoria, it must have been difficult. I mean, there's traditions, there's ways of doing things, there's um, history. I mean, the, the, even the rivalry between the two clubs would have played a role. How did you guys negotiate through that process? Yeah, I think it's a thing that was coming a long time. It was almost a year of negotiations. Um, eventually, it was all about rugby, promoting rugby, club rugby in Pretoria, uh, and setting aside all personal agendas. Um, the biggest thing is, I think we're not really a new club. We're actually two of the oldest and most successful clubs just joining forces. And uh, we're not taking away the legacy of all the previous uh, guys that was involved with the, those two clubs. We're just taking that as a foundation and to build on that together. What was the biggest stumbling block between the two clubs in the amalgamation of the two clubs? Uh, I think both clubs were actually more forced to join. Um, we all had our own challenges. Uh, where Pretoria Police had a challenge with their getting their own fields. We have got the fantastic facilities here. Uh, and we have a lot of young, young players here that haven't got all the uh, expertise. Um, and the amalgamation of the two clubs, um, they brought in the uh, senior players that got a lot more experience. We've got the youth, and I think that gelled excellent at the end. QBR has now qualified for this year's edition of the South African Rugby, SA Rugby's Gold Cup. Do you think uh, it is because of the amalgamation that has assisted with that? I'm 100% sure. Um, and we can see that we eventually at the end of the season actually gelled better than in the beginning of the season. Um, it's surely, just I will tell you straight away that it is surely the amalgamation of the two, those two clubs that, that assisted us, um, taking five lock points from the Asupol champion, the Carlton champion and the gold, current Gold Cup champion in the last three matches. Um, so eventually those guys, everything came together for us, so we're very really thankful that for that. And we've got brilliant players, and I must take my hat off to each and every player that is brought into this whole system. It's it, then safe to say that the amalgamation of the two clubs was necessary for the survival of the two clubs um, going forward. Speaking about aspirations, where do you see QBR going? What, what, what is the foresight for the club and what, what do stakeholders want for the club going forward? Yes, club rugby is changing. Uh, we're moving to a semi-professional kind of era. Uh, if you want to, be, to stay in contention and want to perform, you need to think out of the box. I think that is what uh, the management have done here. And uh, take my hat off to them. Um, setting aside any personal agendas, really going after what's the best for rugby, what's the best for both clubs. Um, what we want to do is we want to be the best rugby club in South Africa. Um, that's what we're striving for. Um, we don't want to measure ourselves against anyone else. We want to measure ourselves against what we are putting down to, to, to create here. 
Trad Gammon Media would like to thank you for taking the opportunity to spend some time with us as we learn more about QBR and where they're going in the future. So we thank you and we wish you all the best on the rugby field in future years. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity. I'm sure we will try our utmost best.